And Roger, from what you told me earlier, uh, Scampton, this has been an ambition of yours for years to do something when the RAF left. The first time I got involved was 2008, where we said the base was closed and we fought to keep the base open, and then obviously we couldn't. Um, so it was all about getting a deal. We saw what the MOD did to other communities around here, there's three of them, and they completely ripped the heart out of the communities. Um, and we were determined not to get that way. And then so when the council said they were going to do something about it and they invited bidders and people like Scampton Holdings come along, um, I just knew that we were going to get a good deal. What I didn't realise is the amazing deal that we got with Scampton Holdings. Yeah. The, the, the thousand jobs, the investment, the, the... And you were on the verge, as I understand it, you as the local council were on the verge of this all being signed up. As far as I know, um, it, it was just basically dot the I's and cross the T's um, from the MOD and obviously with Scampton Holdings. Um, and just out the blue, um, I heard on Monday night that Scampton Holdings had got the deal and it was just euphoric. It was the best deal we've ever had. Mm. Um, I, I just couldn't believe it. And then suddenly, out of the blue... I got told by a journalist yeah. about Scampton. Yeah, and we learned, that, we learned that jobs are being advertised yeah. to work in the migrant detention centre. We learned that artefacts, even Guy Gibson's office, has been packed into a box and sent back to RAF Hendon. I mean, at the moment, it looks like they intend to do this, doesn't it? I've always been an optimist, and I've always believed from day one that we would get a deal. I didn't realise how good we would, but I've always been an optimist, and I'm an optimist now. I have worked at Scampton. Mm. I do know what the um, accommodation and the blocks are like. They're not fit for purpose. And the, these people have got complex needs, and they deserve to be treated with dignity and respect and housed properly in secure, in decent accommodation. You haven't got that at Scampton. There's no decent accommodation. They can't cope with 1,500 scouts, let alone immigrants. Um, it's just not the place. We haven't got the infrastructure, the transport, the doctors, the education. We haven't got any of it here. It's the wrong place at the wrong time, and it's a choice now between the right thing, which secures a thou um, thousand jobs or more, and gives us. A uh, but there is also, Roger. There is also the historical side of this. I mean, I mean, this oh, yeah. site is of huge importance in our national psyche, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was in the army and I love military history. I mean, you're surrounded by it in here. Um, and it's so important that we keep the memory of these people alive. We, we tell their story for future generations. Um, and of course, this deal will do that and more. But if they rip that away, the story dies. Nobody tells anything. No, which I, 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 I think would be awful. We've obviously been out and, and you know, spoken to some local uh, residents. Today, uh, how, would you, how would you sum up local reaction to the proposed migrant detention centre? I think people were devastated more than anything, more than anger. I think they're devastated because we, you know, Monday night was absolutely brilliant. We had this deal. People saw a bright future. Mm. They know what the other future is. They've seen it around Lincolnshire, where the MOD have just ripped the hearts out of people's communities. And Monday night... We weren't that. We were the ones that yeah. have got the best thing. And all of a sudden, Tuesday, we could have our hearts picked out and we could be left with absolutely well, nothing. And this Monday, Roger, you're off to Polly Pratt Primary School. Right yeah. now, hot foot, you're going to be 200. I think quite concerned people. Yes, and we're just going to tell them what we know um, because we don't know a lot, but we know we're going to tell them about the deal, we're going to tell them what we know and listen to their views and fight. And we're going to fight. And we're going to win. Can Scampton be saved? Yes.